good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I'm really coming in for, with a very quick message as we're uh, approaching the solstice, the 21st of December. We're still navigating and anchoring in the energies of the 12th of December. So if you haven't watched that video, you can check it out. Uh, but especially this transmission is for the solstice, but also as we're getting closer to the end of the year of 2022. The codes that we're receiving right now are codes of discernment, sovereignty, empowerment, and higher truth. The very first thing that I want to um, invite you to do is to reflect on what is empowering you in your life and what is disempowering you. This is a very important message because as um, the contrast is becoming clearer and clearer with um, whenever there's whenever light codes come in and we're activating our light body anything that's of distortion starts revealing within us and on the outside in order to be revealed so what's going to happen is that as we're I've spoken about it in my previous videos that we're entering in a sort of like a black tunnel or sort of pressure by the end of 2022 in order to step into 2023 into a deeper layer of freedom and so when I'm talking about when I'm saying that are things in your life empowering you or disempowering you this is very is a is a very important key right now for you in order to navigate multidimensionality and get closer uh, into your own being and step more into sovereignty and who you are. What I mean by things, it could be as simple as relationships you have, friendships, connections, uh, communities, system you're part of, um, your work, your literally anything. And it's very subtle, okay? It's, we're really talking about an energetic empowerment. Start noticing these things, and I know that I've also speak about these things. And um, um, I always invite us to get to know ourselves better, get to know your own frequency. Because as you get to know your own frequency, as you get to know your own thoughts, your own feelings, then when you are with in another, with an, uh, when you are entering another place, you're being in another, in an interaction with another person, then you're able to be more quick in discerning and knowing what is yours and what is the other person because as we're accessing multidimensionality uh, and as you're embracing more and more of your multidimensionality you're going to start to understand that actually every human being is experiencing their own reality every human being is experiencing their own reality they're being in a, their own dimension in that moment so when you're interacting with them you may be plugging in into that uh, reality that they're in and that hence why it's very important to know what is your own truth to know what is your own resonance in order to discern what is right for you and what is not healthy for you right now we're in times where wherever whatever you're engaging in especially as we're because we're here to create the new earth and as we're here to create the new earth, which is the foundation of the new earth, which really ascension and new earth is all about returning home to who we are, right? It's about embodying more and more of who we are. And in order to do that, you got to become more aware and more discerning through your own frequential resonance of what are you surrounding yourself with? What are you reading? What are you listening to? And that again, what I'm saying, it can be very, very subtle. But when you're getting out of a conversation with someone, with a friend, with someone you know, a family, whoever it is, do you feel empowered? Do you feel like that conversation allowed you to be, to be more of who you are, allowed you to step more into your own authenticity, into your own sovereignty? Or do you feel like you're coming out feeling a bit drained, feeling like you're questioning reality and feeling uh, less confident. The thing is that I want to speak about here and I've noticed 
some resistance speaking into it because it can be triggering and um, this message could not may not be for everybody but at the end of the day I'm here to express my truth and if you resonate with it you resonate if you don't you can let it go but what I started realizing lately that it's not about the modality the system any system that you're taking part of any modality you're taking part of that is wrong because we can put things into labels and we can generalize and say this is bad and this is good and this is that and this is this and whether spiritual or not spiritual but actually what I realized is that there can be distortions in any sort of modality or system where there is ego and the ego is something that we're evolving with you know like we're we're learning to integrate within ourselves the shadow is an ever going process that we're step by step integrating with so to say that a system is bad and another system is right is good uh, and to separate ourselves with this and with that none of this actually matters what matters is the empowerment aspect, the sovereignty piece of it. So any modality that you're finding yourself, you're taking part of, any sort of you know, healing modality, any sort of, uh, any sort of retreat, any sort of um, tool that you're using, notice if it's empowering you or if you're finding yourself um, an attachment in codependency with it okay because we're here to be free we're here to be free and anything in this world is meant to allow us to be free is allow to allow us to shine more of our light okay and get closer to who we are so if you're finding yourself struggling to relate to anything that you used to relate to before it's okay ask for the highest truth in the situation ask for the highest truth there's so many truth out there and so many might be of resonance to you others might not be of any resonance to you so ask for your higher self ask from your spirit to guide you into what is the highest truth for you you know I I want to share something that um, whenever I started, since I started my spiritual path, I never had any teacher, any master, any healer, any shaman. This is not not my way I truly believe that in the new earth we're all souls teaching each other lessons there's no one that's higher or lower than us there's no one that is more godly like than we are I truly believe that we're in a world right now where we're here to be activators. That's the other thing is that I, I never had any, um, I've, I've come across, I've come across shamans, one specific shaman, I've come across you know uh, specific healers I've, I've come across all those people 
and but what I realized is that I've seen them as activators. They activated something in me that was dormant within me, something that I've forgotten about myself. They reminded me of it. And then I moved on with my journey. Everyone is here to activate something in you, even the ones that are not shamans or gurus because they don't hold this image, they don't hold this identity. There could be ones that are super asleep triggering the hell out of you, bringing the shadows out of you. These could be your teachers. These could be your masters because they're bringing you closer to your light by seeing those blind spots and seeing those shadows aspect in you. And that's why also in my work, I don't call myself a healer because I don't believe that I don't use that word. I don't use that word. Say I'm an energy worker because I work on the energy field, but at the core, I feel that I am an activator. I'm here to activate you, activate those dormant parts of you into a remembrance of who you are. And eventually that's the world that we're gonna live in to be reflections of each other. So even this transmission is an activate, it's an activation. It's an activation of, oh, aha moments. It's an activation of awareness. It's an activation of consciousness. It's a reflection. It's a reflection. We're here to reflect these things back to each other. So lastly, another question as, um, is this thing empowering you or disempowering you? Is this thing, whatever you're in, that connection, that friendship, that modality, that system, that ceremony, that plant medicine, that healing modality, that practice, yoga practice, uh, gym, work out whatever it is is it empowering you is it freeing you is it allowing you to feel freer or is it keeping you in some sort of codependency and attachment my dear friends dear souls dear way showers you're here to be free you're here to be free to be who you are and if any of those things and those people and those situations are not bringing you closer to that then just make that choice choose not to be not to be part of that choose freedom Choose sovereignty. I love you.